All right, there are different ways to perform motion tracking in DaVinci Resolve, this time I will use a tracker node to track a motion and apply the path to a text title with match move operation. Here is the clip of a man walking on the beach. We will track the walking motion and attach a text title to the motion path. Go to the Fusion page and move the playhead to the beginning of the clip. Select the media in node, press shift space to open the tool selection window. Search for tracker and add it to the process flow. With the tracker node selected, go to the viewer. Move and resize the tracker box so that the pattern box covers the man. Please note that we must click on the upper left corner dot to drag the tracker around. As we drag the control, we see a zoomed in image that helps us position the tracker with greater precision. There are many controls in the Trackers Inspector, in this case, we will leave all of them as default. As the playhead is already at the beginning, we can simply click Track Forward from Current Time button to start the tracking process. After tracking is complete, we see a path connected to the pattern box. Drag a text node from the toolbar to the node editor. Connect the output of the text node to the green foreground input of the tracker node. In the inspector of the text node, enter tracking as the text. Select the tracker node, go to the operation tab in the inspector panel. Change the operation mode to match move. The text tracking is now appearing in the viewer, but is too far from the man. Select the text node in the viewer, move the text title above the man. You can also change the color and size of the text or any other attributes as you like. Play the clip and the text title matches the move as the man walking on the beach. Next to make it more interesting, we will create a 3D text as the moving title. From the toolbar, drag a 3D text node and a render 3D node to the node editor. Connect the output of text 3D to the input of the render 3D node. Load the Render 3D node into the viewer by dragging it to the viewer window, select the Text 3D node, and enter tracking as the text in the inspector. Turn on Dual Viewer mode, drag the Text 3D node to Viewer 1. In the Text 3D nodes inspector, adjust extrusion depth to give the text a 3D base. Change the color to orange. It doesn't have much 3D look yet, because we haven't enabled the lighting option. Select the Render 3D node in the Inspector, check both Lighting and Shadow options. Add a Spotlight node from the toolbar to the Node Editor. Drag the output of Spotlight to the output of the Text 3D node. A Merge 3D node is automatically added and connected. Load the Merge 3D node to Viewer 1. Select the Spotlight node in the left Viewer 1, move the Spotlight away from the center, so that you start seeing lighting on the text in Viewer 2. Go to the Inspector, in the Transform tab, enable the option of Use Target. This makes it easy to reposition the spotlight without losing our target, which is the text. Adjust the spotlight position to get the best result as you like. Select the Text 3D node, adjust its bevel width and depth to have a better 3D look. You may change other settings to meet your needs. Now we have a 3D title ready for the match move. Disconnect the previous text node by hovering the mouse on the connection line, left click when the line is highlighted. Drag and connect the output of the render 3D node to the tracker's green foreground input. For better viewing, you can rearrange the nodes in the node editor as you wish. Bring the final media out node to viewer 2, and we have the 3D text showing. Select the merge 3D node, and in the left viewer 1, change the merge 3D position, so that the 3D text appears above the man in proper size. Play the clip, and this 3D text title is now following the man walking. That's all for today, thanks for watching, and see you next time.